Samantha is a hairdresser who will choose to give a haircut to two brunettes rather than to one redhead. Why? It's obvious. This way, she will earn more. Both Mark and Daniel had a box of chocolates each. There were 12 chocolates in each box. Mark ate some sweets. Then Daniel opened his box and ate the same number of chocolates that were left in Mark's box. How many chocolates do the guys have together now? Together, they have 12 chocolates. You're trapped in a secret laboratory by a mad professor. You find a corridor ending with three doors. Behind the first door, there's a giant shark. Behind the second one, there's a deep hole with sharp metal spikes at the bottom. And the third door hides live electrical wires. Before you have time to pick uh -oh. one exit, the corridor starts to fill with water. Choose fast which door can save your life. Choose the second door. As soon as the corridor fills with water, you'll be able to swim over the spikes. Can you find three differences between these two pictures? Here you go, all three of them. How about these two rooms? Do you think you can find three differences? If you've spotted them all, congratulations! Now, look at these students and tell me who is cheating. It's this girl wearing a white t-shirt. She has the answers to the test written on her arm. Mark was an infamous robber. So smart, he was always one step ahead of the police. Mark's rivals were jealous of his skills. But one time, they found out that Mark had just got his hands on a precious necklace. His main competitor decided to steal this necklace from Mark to prove he was a more skilled thief. So he searched Mark's house, but didn't find the necklace. Disappointed, he put everything back in place and left. When Mark came back home, he immediately realized someone had been there. How did he figure it out? The bed is the clue. It looks different than before the rival's visit. Look at these people attentively. All of them are teachers, but one teacher is fake. Can you figure out which one? It's the guy on the left. Can you see his portrait over there on the wall? He's a wanted criminal. Now look at these two teachers. Which of them is a criminal? It's most probably the lady on the left. Look, there's something red on her sleeve. Is it blood? Put on your detective hat and tell me which grandma is not dangerous. Look at the reflection of the granny on the right. She seems to be a robot. This doesn't make her dangerous per se, but it's still weird. Michael had a powerful enemy who was a dark wizard. Once, he managed to kidnap the man and lock him on top of an incredibly high tower. In Michael's room, there was just one small window and no doors at all. But the wizard thought it wasn't enough. He set the tower on magic fire and apparated away. Michael knew he didn't have much time left. He looked around the room and saw three magic potions. The first one could make him inhumanly strong. The second would turn him into a vampire. 
and with the help of the third potion, he could summon any animal he wanted. Which potion should he drink? Well, even if he destroyed the tower with his newly acquired strength, it wouldn't help him with the magic fire. No animal could help him escape from the tower. But if he chose to become a vampire, he would be able to turn into a bat and simply fly away. Damien left a $100 bill lying on his desk and left for work. When he came back, the money wasn't there. Hmm, no surprise. Uh The cook explained that she had put the bill under the book lying on the table. But when Damien checked, there was nothing there. Then the housekeeper said that she had moved the money inside the book between pages 10 and 11 to keep it safe. But again, there was nothing inside the book. And finally, the gardener said that he had seen the money sticking out of the book and placed the bill between pages 13 and 14. Who took the money? It was the gardener. Pages 13 and 14 are two sides of the same page. There were just two days remaining before an important basketball competition, when one of the main players of one of the teams went missing. The last time, he was seen at lunchtime. There were three suspects, Michael, Ethan, and John. The police interviewed the three of them and got the following answers. When the player disappeared, Michael was giving autographs to some pretty girls. Ethan had sprained his ankle and was getting a massage. And John was taking a shower before the training. Who is a liar? It's John. It doesn't make any sense to take a shower before the training. Richard was walking through the park after work when somebody hit him on the head from behind. When he woke up, he was in a well. Luckily, there wasn't too much water in it. But as soon as Richard tried to climb out of the well, he realized the walls were too slippery. The man noticed a rope with a bucket tied to it. The bucket was hanging pretty low, but try as he might, Richard couldn't reach it. However, in 15 minutes, the man was running away from the dangerous place. Can you figure out how Richard escaped? The man took his shoes off and threw them into the bucket. It got down, and Richard managed to escape. On the outskirts of town, there was a haunted house. A group of friends decided to check if the house lived up to its reputation. They went there at night. But as soon as they reached their destination, one guy refused to go inside and tried to stop the others. But they just laughed at him and entered the place, leaving him behind. He heard some terrible crashing sounds coming from the house, and then everything went still. The guy never saw his friends again. How did he understand there was something seriously wrong with the house? The guy who stayed behind was very attentive. He noticed that there were lots of footprints leading towards the house, but none going away. Captain Black was on the bridge of a spacecraft when the engineer informed him they had problems with the engine. They needed to land soon to repair it. There were three planets on their way. One was freezing cold and covered with ice. The second was boiling hot and covered with molten lava. And the third planet was covered with acid that could easily destroy their ship. What planet did the captain choose? Black chose the cold planet, since very low temperatures aren't a problem for a spaceship. Four boys are lined up on several steps, all of them facing in the same direction. A brick wall separates the fourth boy from the rest. Boy number one can see boys number two and number three. Boy number two can see boy number three. All boy number three sees is the wall. And boy number four doesn't see the others. The boys are wearing hats, and they know that two of the hats are white and two are black. 
Which boy will be the first to figure out and shout out the color of the hat he's wearing if the boys aren't allowed to turn, talk to each other, or take their hats off? It'll be boy number two. Boys three and four can't see each other's hats. Boy number one sees one black hat and one white hat and knows that his hat can either be white or black. Boy number two sees one black hat. He realizes that if he was also wearing a black hat, boy number one would understand that his hat is white. And since he hasn't shouted yet, it means that boy number two is wearing a white hat. Amber's husband, Carl, is an artist. Can you guess which one of these ladies is Amber? It's the lady in the middle. She has the same paint stains on her clothes as Carl has on his jeans. Carl gets an invitation to visit a mysterious fortune teller, Morgana. She has built a maze so that only smart people could reach her house. Which one of these routes should Carl choose? Only the first path will take him to the final destination. Morgana treats Carl with a welcome drink. Only one of these three drinks is safe. Can you guess which one? The first drink. There's a human tooth inside the second glass, and there are too many flies around the third drink, so it's probably not fresh. Morgana says, I've got a surprise for you. People put it on the table but never eat it. What is it? Can you guess? The correct answer is a pack of cards. Carl gets his brand new pack of cards. Morgana offers him a mind game. From the pack of 52 cards, she places four cards on the table face down and gives Carl four clues about the card. Card on the left cannot be greater than the card on the right. The difference between the first card and the third card is eight. There's no single ace among these four cards. Also, there are no face cards. And finally, the difference between the second and the fourth card is seven. Can you help Carl guess the values of all four cards? All right, let's put everything on the table. The task was to guess the value so we can pay no attention to the suits. The first card has to be two, and the third card has to be 10. There's simply no other way the difference can be eight. The first and the fourth clues reveal that the fourth card can only be 10. And thanks to clue five, we know that the second card amounts to three. So here's the correct answer. Carl successfully solves the riddle. Morgana is impressed. She says, now that I see you deserve my gift, I will give you a magic amulet that will turn you into the richest artist. These three tunnels lead to the room where the treasure is hidden. You must choose wisely if you want to stay safe. There's a rhino cuddling her calves in the first tunnel. The second tunnel is filled with gas, which is fatal for any insect. There are thousands of venomous snakes crawling around the third tunnel. Which way is more or less safe? The second one. Nobody said that the gas is dangerous for humans. The next day, Carl feels sick and goes to the hospital. He meets these three women in the lobby. Can you find a doctor's wife among them? Take a look at the poster. This doctor is a dentist. The first lady is his patient. And the third one is his colleague, so the second lady is his wife. 
Three doctors approach Carl, but one of them is fake. Can you guess who? Take a look at this guy's badge. There's a female picture and a name on it, so he's probably an imposter. The doctor invites Carl to his lab. Can you help him find these three items? Here they are. In the evening, Carl arrives home. He spots five weird things about this place right away. Can you see them too? The house number is hanging upside down. This raccoon is talking on a cell phone. The bicycle is moving without a rider. This lantern doesn't have a lamppost and floats in the air by itself. And finally, these flowers in the garden are blooming in the middle of winter. Carl enters his house. Surprise! His friends prepared a secret party for his birthday. Everything goes well, but suddenly the lights turn off for 30 seconds. When the power is back again, Carl sees that someone has sneaked his lucky amulet from his neck. He questions three suspects. Rick says, I was cooking snacks in the kitchen. The light turned off so suddenly. Bella says, I was in the middle of a chess game when the power turned off. And Ren says, I've been dancing in the living room for the last 30 minutes and the dark didn't stop me. Who's lying? Bella. She said she was in the middle of her game, but all chess pieces are standing in their initial positions. Bella escapes with the amulet and flies away to Seychelles with her boyfriend, Josh. Can you guess which one of these guys is Josh? The second guy. He's lying on her beach wrap. Bella is watching a boxing match on TV. It's a friendly match between two heavyweights, which consists of 12 rounds. But it was finished after the seventh round because the boxer knocked out the other one. But during the match, no man threw even a single punch. How can this be possible? Easy. It was between two female boxers. In the hotel, Bella has only three neighbors on her floor. One of them is turning into a zombie. Can you guess who? This lady, it's hot. Why is she wearing a warm scarf? Bella leaves her hotel room to get some ice. Two minutes later, she returns and finds out that someone had broken in. How did she know? When she was leaving, the balcony door was open and now it's locked. It was Carl who robbed Bella. He just took back his amulet and ran away to the roof. Unfortunately, now he's trapped on the roof of the hotel building. It's 200 feet high. There's a hook on the roof and another hook 100 feet down from it. Carl finds a 150 foot long rope and a sharp knife. How can he climb down safely? Carl should cut the rope into two parts, 50 and 100 feet. Then make a knot at the end of the shorter rope and put the longer one through it. Then he should slide down the ropes and untie the longer rope to be able to use it again with the second hook. Carl uses his lucky amulet and his art becomes super famous. One day, he receives a phone call from the police. They arrested a group of criminals who tried to sell illegal copies of Carl's artwork. They confiscated three paintings. Carl said that one of them is original. Can you guess which one?
The first painting is a mirrored version of the original work. The second one has a barely visible handprint. Therefore, only the third painting is original. Carl exhibits a huge collage in a gallery. Can you spot any outstanding images? This guy over here. Carl goes to the gym for a morning workout. He sees something weird and freaks out. Can you spot what's wrong? A huge spider is crawling out of the ventilation. Carl puts his bags in a locker before going to the gym shower. He locks it and takes the key with him. He hangs the key on a hook together with his towel. After bathing, Carl finds out that someone had stolen the key and robbed his locker. He questions three suspects, but all of them say they were taking a shower and didn't see anything. Who is lying? The third guy. Take a look at his feet. They're too dirty for a man who has just taken a shower. Wendy is an art teacher. This morning, someone pranked her by putting glue on her coffee mug. She questioned three suspects. Blair says, I didn't do it. I was too busy painting these beautiful flowers. Jason says, I overslept and came to the studio later than you. And Zara says, Why would I do that? You're my favorite teacher. Who did it? It was Zara. There's a glue pen in her pocket. Wendy gives her students a task and leaves the studio. After a while, she returns and sees this painting. She says, wow, who painted this masterpiece? Three students claim to be the author of the painting. Can you guess who tells the truth? To solve this mystery, we should take a look at their palettes. Only this student has all colors that match the painting. Wendy goes outdoors to buy some food for lunch. Suddenly, she sees a cyclist lying on the ground. Can you guess what happened here? In fact, the car hit the ketchup bottle. The cyclist just fell nearby and got stained. Wendy receives a delivery, three identical boxes with artist supplies. All boxes are labeled incorrectly. Wendy needs to label all boxes correctly by opening just one of them. Can you help her? Since all three boxes contain the wrong items, Wendy should open the third box. If it contains watercolor, the first box will definitely have brushes, and the second box, watercolors and brushes. And if she finds brushes in the third box, the first one will contain both watercolors and brushes, while the second one, watercolors only. The delivery guy walks outside and yells, Hey, call the police! Someone stole my car! The police begin an investigation and find these three suspects. One of them is a thief. Can you guess who? The first guy is just coloring his fence, and the third one is a gardener. But the second guy is hiding a lockpick in his shirt pocket, so he's the thief. Wendy comes to a party. Three guys invite her to dance, but one of them is a werewolf. Can you guess who? The first guy is just wearing a werewolf costume. The second one has some scratches, but it proves nothing. But the third one has a real wolf tail. After the party, Wendy wakes up in a cell made of ice. She only has a pickaxe in her hand. Meanwhile, her best friend Zach is locked in a similar cell with a drill. Can you predict who will escape?
Only Wendy will escape. Zack can't use a drill without electricity. The next day, Wendy arrives at the art studio. She leaves her takeaway coffee at the desk and goes to the toilet. Wendy returns and finds out that someone had drunk her beverage. She checks the cup surface for fingerprints, but she only finds her own traces. Wendy questions three suspects among students. Blair says, Sorry, I've been washing my brushes in the sink. I didn't look at your desk. Jason says, Sorry, I don't like coffee. And besides, I've been streaming stories for my followers. And Robin says, I was changing in the dressing room to be a model for portrait class. Can you spot the thief? It was Jason. Take a look at his back pocket. He's hiding rubber gloves. That's why he didn't leave any fingerprints. Wendy receives an emergency call. Someone had stolen paintings from her art studio gallery. Wendy interrogates three suspects among the visitors. Sarah says, I came here to buy some of your paintings, but when I entered the gallery, the walls were empty. Jill says, I went blind seven years ago, so I didn't see anything. I only visit this gallery to use your toilet. And Robert says, Why would I rob this place? I'm the major investor. Who's lying? Jill, if she's really blind, why did she bring this photo camera with her? Wendy carries out entrance exams for art students. One of these three artists is left-handed. Can you guess who? It's the third guy. It's easier for lefties to hold a palette in their right hand and paint with their left. This way, his left hand works and the right one stays static. During exams, one guy named Bobby gets very sick and faints. Wendy calls the ambulance and takes him to the hospital. She's just met Bobby, so she doesn't know his relatives. But still, Wendy manages to notice his wife in the hospital right away. Can you spot her too? It's the first lady. They have identical tattoos. And the third lady has a similar mole on her cheek. So she's probably Bobby's sister. Doctors suspect poisoning. So they keep Bobby in the hospital to make tests. Meanwhile, Wendy returns to the studio and questions three witnesses among the applicants. Sheila says, Bobby didn't look healthy in the first place. I don't blame him. Everyone was stressed out during exams. Sam says, I have no idea who poisoned him, but this person is heartless. And Xavier says, I think Bobby's just pretending to be ill to get accepted out of pity. The next day, Bobby calls Wendy with the test results. He was poisoned. Wendy calls the police right away and they arrest one of the witnesses. Can you guess who and why? Sam, he knew about the poison before the test results were ready. The next morning, Wendy enters the studio and sees that someone has left a hot mess. Canvases are torn and paints are spilled all over the floor. Can you count all the brushes in this room? Thirteen. What about the glass jars? Can you count the exact number? There are eight glass jars in this studio, including this broken one. Wendy asks her three students, who's responsible for this mess? Nina replies, I think it was David. He never washes his hands and clothes. He's such a weirdo. David says, it was Nina. She's just jealous because her paintings weren't selected for an art exhibition. And Amber says, I don't know who did it. Yesterday, I was feeling sick and stayed home. Who's responsible for this mess? Take a look at the canvas frames. They're all signed. 
The only canvas that wasn't torn has David's name on it. Therefore, he ruined the studio and his rival's works. Wendy asked her students to the park for an en plein air class. Can you see any weird details in this area? This is an apple tree, but why are there so many oranges under it? Two students have painted almost identical pictures. Can you help Wendy find three differences? Here they are. What about these portraits? Can you spot three differences? Over here. After the class, Wendy is trying to leave the park and gets lost. She has to walk through this confusing maze. Can you help her find the way out? Only the first path is correct. On the way home, Wendy enters a supermarket. Can you count the number of cacti? Six. Someone had broken the most expensive car in the parking lot near Wendy's apartment building. The police interrogate three witnesses to find out who is guilty. Carl says, this is my car. I parked it as usual and went home. Wendy woke me up with her call. Gia says, I was just having a yoga class in a studio nearby. This car belongs to my ex-boyfriend Carl. Too bad he loved this car more than me. And Peter says, Carl's my neighbor, but he's not my best friend, if you know what I mean. I've been working all day and just arrived. Who broke Carl's car? It was Gia. She's hiding a baseball bat inside her yoga mat. Shane opens a new beauty salon. He needs to hire some hairdressers and find these three candidates online. Bella has impressive experience. Tyler has recently won a prestigious award. Fiona specializes in hair coloring and has a nice Instagram profile. One of these candidates is a liar. Can you guess who? Bella says that she has 25 years of work experience. But according to her profile, she's only 22 years old. That's impossible. So she's the liar. Shane invites Tyler and Fiona to visit the hair salon for a job interview. He wants to test their intelligence and sends each candidate this map. Can you help them find the right destination? Take a closer look. These are English letters. To understand what's written on the map, you need to remove this icon. The hair salon is located over here. Fiona manages to find the beauty salon. Shane wants to test her skills and shows Fiona these 10 tubes of hair dye. Her task is to decide which color is different. Can you help her? This one. What about these 10 cubes? Can you sort one color out? The fifth one doesn't belong here. Shane decides to hire a cleaner for his hair salon, Bobby. Shane asked him to come every Wednesday, but they agreed that Shane would pay Bobby $2 per day. But if Bobby would miss a day, he would have to pay Shane $3. After 15 weeks, it turns out that Shane owes Bobby as much as Bobby owes Shane. How many times did Bobby miss work?
Bobby missed work nine days and earned $18, but he also missed six days and lost the same amount of money. One day, Shane enters the hair salon and sees two clients. One of them is a runaway criminal. Can you guess who? The lady on the right just gets some styling. Meanwhile, the lady on the left is changing her hair color completely to look different. Therefore, she's a criminal. On Sunday, Shane throws a birthday party at home. He invites a bunch of people. In the midst of the event, Shane decides to show his friend his new diamond watch. But he realizes that it's gone. Shane is sure that the thief is among the guests. He identifies several suspects. Violet says, I came here to keep an eye on my sister, so I was with her all the time. Jeanette says, I arrived because I got stuck in a traffic jam. Everyone's on their way home from work. So annoying. And Mike says, Sorry, I was so hungry that I didn't even leave the table. Who's a liar? Jeanette. People can't come back from work. The party takes place on Sunday. At the party, Shane serves two dishes with cookies. Can you find any differences between them? Here they are. This night, the beauty salon was robbed. The thieves didn't find any money. That's why they took expensive gadgets and some beauty products. The criminal boss gathers all the thieves in his office to decide what to do with the loot. Suddenly, the room becomes completely dark. When the lights turn on again, the thieves notice their boss unconscious on the floor. His assistant wants to find the guilty person as soon as possible, so he questions everyone. Jeff says, I went to the toilet at that moment. Carl says, I was checking the stolen money in a special machine to sort out the fake ones. And Paul says, I was drinking my coffee and got scared when the light went out. Who attacked the boss? Carl said that he was going to check the money, but there was no money among the stolen items. Only gadgets, so he's a deceiver. The next morning, Shane enters the hair salon and learns about the robbery. He calls the police. The officer arrives very quickly and examines the crime scene, but he finds no signs of a break-in. He questions three witnesses. Fiona, the hairdresser, says, Yesterday, I finished my last haircut at 5 p.m. and went home. Emma, the cleaner, says, I finished cleaning at 8 p.m., locked all the doors, and went home. And Mia, the nail artist, says, I had a day off because I was attending a birthday party. Who's lying? Mia, take a closer look at her hands and the door. One of her false nails is missing because it's stuck in the lock. Shane is choosing new mirrors for his hair salon. Can you help him spot which mirror isn't fake? Only this one has a real reflection. One day, a foreigner enters the hair salon. He doesn't speak English and communicates with emojis. Can you guess his job? He's a radio host. Shane decides to take some pictures for the beauty salon social media. Each worker strikes a pose. Can you see any difference between these two pictures? Here they are. 
Shane arrives at a new beauty product store. He gets lost in the basement and the door behind him slams shut. Shane needs to enter a five number code to open it. Can you help him crack the password? See this note next to the door? It's a clue. Count the number of corners for each shape and you'll get the code. Three, zero, four, six, five. Finally, Shane arrives at the beauty product store. He spots some weird things about this place right away. How many odd details can you spot? There's a ketchup bottle on a shelf with shampoo. The salesman has four hands. This poster advertises a 120% discount, which doesn't make any sense. And finally, this mirror is lying. Shane is walking down the store and sees something very curious on the floor. It's not alive, but it has five fingers. What is it? It's a glove. Shane is buying one thing. It comes from a mine and it's surrounded by wood. Everyone uses it. What is it? The correct answer is a pencil. Shane comes outdoors and faces these people. Who has a superpower? It's the guy on the right. On holidays, Shane invites his girlfriend to play hide and seek in the woods with his three friends. Suddenly, they find an abandoned house. Shane says, hide over there and I'll seek. In a couple of minutes, Shane finds his girlfriend unconscious on the floor inside the house. He questions his friends. Tyler says, I hid in the courtyard behind the fountain. Pam says, I decided not to play, and I was reading a book on the beach. Alex says, I was playing in the garden among the roses. And Dylan says, I hid lying down behind the trees. Shane asks everyone to show their hands. Can you guess who's guilty? Tyler. If he hadn't entered the house, his hands wouldn't have been rusty. Shane's brother Kyle is a rich businessman. They have dinner in a restaurant and meet three beautiful ladies. Kyle invites them to eat together. Bella is a promising model. She loves orange juice and dogs. Sheila is a divorced housewife. She has one little daughter. And Ella is a student and an Instagram blogger. She's in love with her car. That night, Kyle was robbed. One of the ladies stole a briefcase with one million dollars. The police caught the ladies the next morning and knew immediately who did it. Can you guess who's the thief? Ella. Someone went shopping. Early in the morning, Shane opens the hair salon and faces an unpleasant surprise. Someone had knocked over a flower pot and left a mess all over the floor. Shane questions three suspects. Fiona says, Yesterday, I had a date. I tidied up my workplace and left at 6 p.m. Bobby says, I washed the entire place and left home at 8 p.m. My wife can confirm my words. And the new nail artist, April, says, Yesterday, I didn't have any clients, so I was watching videos all day and left earlier. Can you guess who's guilty? It wasn't people who did it, but these two rats. Apparently, they got in at night.
Look at this picture. Where is the bank robber hiding? He's over there, behind the bushes. The bank robber has managed to escape from the police. Try to figure out where he's hiding now. See that maintenance hole? That's where the criminal is. This robber is just too fast. He's escaped again and is now hiding in one of these fitting rooms. Help the police find him. He must be in the middle fitting room. See that bag with all the cash he's stolen? Look at this image attentively and try to figure out what's wrong here. In reality, the guy is holding a tube of toothpaste in his left hand, but in the reflection in the mirror, he's got nothing in his hand. How about this picture? What's wrong here? Um, is this lady charging her cat? This picture looks off too. But what exactly seems strange? It's the girl in the front. She isn't reflected in the water. Now the next image to challenge your observation skills. Does anything strike you as odd in this picture? Look at the TVs. They show different things in reality and in the reflection in the mirror. Can you figure out what this means? Right you are. F plus arm equals farm. Now this one is a tiny bit tougher. What does this rebus mean? Storm, TH. It's thunderstorm. And how about this one? Can you crack it easily? Re plus boot equals reboot. Ew, insects. But can you guess this word? How many ants are there? 10. So the correct answer is 10 plus ants equals 10 ants. I have eight fingers and two thumbs, but I'm not alive. What am I? I'm a pair of gloves. Which person is different from the others? Right you are, this one with shorter hair. Try to figure out which emoji is the odd one. The one at the bottom, it looks pretty angry. I challenge you to find a cat that's different from the rest. Right! It's the one closer to the bottom, facing away from you. Which image is the odd one?
this little rebel is turned in the opposite direction. Have you noticed anything wrong in this picture? The ball! They're playing soccer, not basketball! Which cow is different from the others? The one waving at you, of course! How about these burgers? Do any of them stand out? See, this burger is smaller than the rest. There's something wrong with this picture. What exactly? It's the river. It seems to just disappear under the bridge. Is there a hole in the ground there? Which emoji is the odd one? The one with its mouth missing. There's something that doesn't seem quite right in this picture. But what? The rainbow! Its colors are a bit messed up. Can you find a pig among these birdies? Here it is, hiding behind the bush! Which emoji is different from the others? It's the unwinking one, with both of its eyes open. These smiley faces look so cool, all but one. This emoji isn't exactly all that smiley. There's something wrong with this keyboard. Can you figure out what exactly? There are two eights on it, but no nines. Which pooch is the odd one? This doggy seems to be friendlier than the rest. Find the odd avocado. Right, it's the one with the heart-shaped pit. Which emoji is different from the others? This little guy is just a wannabe. It isn't a unicorn. It's a horse that's probably dreaming of becoming a unicorn. Can you find the odd emoji? The one at the bottom seems to be even more in love than the rest. The hearts in its eyes are bigger than what other emojis have. One of these music notes is different. Which one? Ah, now I see it! What's wrong with this picture? The calendar claims it's August 2018, but the computer is sure it's still August 2017. Can you spot a teddy bear without a hat? Here it is! 
there's something strange about this picture. But what exactly? One of the birds doesn't have a reflection. Creepy. Which sheep couple is different from the others? This one, the lady sheep is facing away from her admirer. Amy was walking through a forest and saw three portals in front of her. Each could take her to a different place. The first one would send her to the moon. The second portal would move her to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. And the last one would take her 30,000 years back, when large dinosaurs were still roaming our planet. Uh -oh. Which portal should she choose to survive? The third one. Dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. Amy will be safe there. John was looking for a gift for his mom at a shopping mall when he noticed that one of the stores had a mysterious extension. It led to a vault filled with diamonds and gold jewelry. As soon as the guy walked in, the store owner locked him in the room. He told John he had to eat one of the three cookies on the table and managed to get out of the room. Then he'll be rewarded generously. The first cookie would turn John into an animal. The second cookie would turn him into a giant. And the last one would make him invisible. Which cookie should John eat? The first one. He can turn into some small animal, like a hamster, and squeeze through the bars. That's how he'd get out and win the gold. Mr. Lawrence called the police. He said someone had taken his car for a joyride, crashed it into a streetlight, and ran away. The man was sure it had been one of his neighbors. The police questioned three of them. Ivy answered she'd been at work and arrived home only in the evening. Cameron told the police he'd been helping his dad remove old stuff from the attic. And Aaron claimed he'd been hanging out with his friends, eating pizza, and watching the latest series. After listening to all the suspects, the police officers arrested one of them. Who was it? It was Cameron. There's no attic in his house. He invented the whole story. Naomi invited her friends to a pajama party at her house. The only thing she asked the girls was, Don't enter my brother's room. He loves playing tricks on people. And once you get there, you might not be able to get out. They were gossiping and watching viral TikTok videos when one of Naomi's friends asked, Wait, where's Rebecca? Meanwhile, Rebecca went to the kitchen to drink some water, but she got lost and ended up in Naomi's brother's room. The door closed behind her back, and it wouldn't open. The girl noticed a password lock with letters on it. Rebecca looked around and spotted a piece of paper on the table with five numbers on it. Three, seven, six, nine, two. The girl thought for a while, then entered a combination of letters and got out of the room. What was the password? The code was the first letters of the five numbers, T, S, S, N, T. An expensive ring went missing from a jewelry store on the first floor of a large shopping mall. The manager called the police. After watching the CCTV camera footage, they had three suspects, a student, a woman with a daughter, and an elderly man. The student said he had agreed to meet with his friend next to the jewelry store. I didn't even set foot inside, the woman said. I was at the movies with my daughter here in the mall when everything happened. The elderly man said, Yes, I did enter the store. I felt unwell and asked for a glass of water, but I didn't take the ring. Who's lying? Look, all the movies running at that time had a 16 plus age rating. The woman wouldn't have been able to watch any of them with her young daughter so she must have lied. 